Thursday if you would take a minute to tie up the game against Houston. Uh, and then your plans for the open week as you get ready for the, uh, the uh, Saturday game against SMU, please. Well, um, against Houston, we didn't we didn't play well enough to uh, win that ball game, you know, in, in every category, and um, especially offensively, we didn't do enough to um, throw the ball, but didn't put any points on the board. And uh, we got to find a way to correct those things if we want to win this ball game. So, um, got to get better coaches and players, and, and uh, we use this bye week to really work on those little fundamental things we have to do in order to get better as a football team. Any questions for Coach Taggart, please star one on your telephone to join the queue, then the operator will introduce you. We'll take Dan Tortora, Dan Tortora Broadcast Media. Hi, hey, Coach. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you? As far, I'm doing well, thank you. As far as your to-do list for this bye week, I know the talk is always healing guys up, but when you look at things that you really need to improve on moving forward, what are some of those key points that you want to make with the team? Uh, one is um, just we got to be able to run the football. You know, we got to be able to run the football. We got to be able to stop the run. We said from the beginning that's what we wanted to be as a football team, and we're not doing it. So we got to really focus and find a way to run the football better. And I think a lot of that has to do with with technique and fundamental, just the, the basis of things. I think a lot of our problems right now is that. So as coaches, we got to do that and make sure we focus more on that than schemes. Uh, to allow our guys to play fast and, and the way we want them to and make the play. So we got to do a good job as coaches helping them with that and, you know, and, and, and make sure we do a good job of teaching those fundamentals, especially for the young football team. And then as far as the quarterback situation after Stephen Bench's struggles in the last game against Houston, and, and I know Quentin Flowers got in there for a pass or so, but what – what are you seeing at the quarterback situation, and, and how is that looking moving forward? Well, we're going to, um, with the quarterback position and, and every other position, again, we're going to use this, this bye week to, to see who gives us the best chance of winning a football game, you know, and um, make sure we got the right kids in there to help us, you know, whether it's that quarterback, all O-line, receivers, defensive back. We just got to make sure we have the right guys in there. and We're going to let them all compete. Um, throughout this week and really show what they can do. I know a lot of guys have gotten better as the year went on and just hadn't had a lot of opportunities. And it's a great, great week to um, give them those opportunities and see who can execute at a high level consistently and give us a chance to win. And then Quentin Flowers, just to follow up on that, what have you seen from him? I know he hasn't had a ton of time out there playing quarterback for you, but what do you see about him, and, and how dynamic can he be, even though he's a young guy in your team? Well, I think, uh, as you see a lot of these teams with, with um, a mobile quarterback, I think he can he can run and make guys miss. He can bring a little more from that standpoint. When things don't go right, he can make it right with his legs. you know. But I think the kid can really throw the football, you know, and got to be smart in what you ask him to throw. But I think he's um, he's just a really good talent. You know, he's a talented kid. He's young. He's raw. But – think uh, he has a, a big-time future ahead of him. Thanks, he's going to get an opportunity to compete with the rest of those guys. Thank you. I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. We'll go next to Joey Knight of Tampa Bay Times. Coach, when you, you guys went back and reviewed the, um, the film, what happened on third and fourth down with Houston's success and being able to convert on those downs? What was the breakdown for you guys? Well, again, um, like I say, it goes back to the fundamentals and, and being where you're supposed to be when you're supposed to be there and making plays. And then there's other times where Ward just made a hell of a play where he uh, made some things happen and, and we didn't bottom him up. We didn't wrap up and um, he pulled some Houdini thing, <laughs> you ask me. But um, And then, uh, I mean, I know a couple times on third down it was that way and he pulled a hat. Uh, trick out of the hat a couple of times, but in other times it's just poor tackling, you know, and, and we got to do better at just getting a lot of guys to the football. You know, that's when we're a good football team, you know, and I, and I think at the end of the day a good way of helping our defense is if our offense can do anything. So we got to get better offensively, and I think that can help defense out big time as well. Did you all come out of the game fairly healthy? Any significant injuries? 
Um, not nothing major. We got some uh, bumps and bruises by some guys, a couple ankle injuries that will be fine, but nothing major that will keep guys out for a long period of time. We'll go next to Christopher Heidel of HERB FM Radio. Hey, Coach Tagger, you said something about the running game. What's been the bigger problem with the running game? Is it you guys can't get those holes opening up from the offensive line, or what's, is that something you guys have to work on? Well, I think we've got to be um, patient with the run game and, and stick with it. You know, I thought in the last couple of games, once we, we have some good runs, we get away from it, and we never get in the rhythm of just staying in and we got to be patient uh, uh, running those. I mean, we had and, and, and there's times where the back missed a couple of holes. There was a couple of times in this last week game where we had some nice big holes for them and the backs missed them, you know, and ended up going the wrong hole that cost at that time. So it's not always the offensive line. I think some of the things you're going to get from young running backs at times where um, they make a mistake and not hit the right hole. But there were some holes there that we missed as running backs. I uh, wish we could have had back, and I know those guys do as well. But uh, and then there's times where we do miss a block or so where where we don't get it. So it's been a uh, a mix of both where we got to play consistently um, for a longer period of time, play consistent football, and and play more with a synergy, you know. And and we as coaches got to ask ourselves again: Are we asking our guys to do too much? And you also said you have. Uh... You know, you're working on fundamentals this week. Is there one thing that you are strictly going to work on for on the defensive side to get everything all ready to go? Uh, a couple of things. You know, we're going to work on pad level. I think that's that's key so we don't get moved and striking people when we do take on blocks. I think that's something we, we struggle with is, is taking on the block and, and striking them when we do and then tackling, you know. And we work on it daily and we're going to work on it even more uh, this bye week is to – just get everybody to the ball and tackling. And I think, again, that's at the end of the day, that's what football comes down to is, is, is blocking and tackling. And we've got to do a better job and make sure we're teaching the fundamentals of how to do that, not just tell them to do it, but teach them exactly how we want them to do it and, and demand that they do it that way. Well, I hope you have a good uh, bye week. Appreciate you, buddy. Coach, we thank you for your time today. We look forward to talking to you again next Monday. Thank you very much. Okay, again, that's Coach Willie Taggart from USF.